like to do is talk about low anterior resection syndrome or LARS it's called. You can Google that. It's a syndrome of a GI disorganization characterized by undue, like very undue frequency and inconsistency of bowel movements, they, um, clustering of bowel movements. So needing to go many, 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 many times, not needing to go many, 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 many times. And it can be quite disorganized and uh, quite painful and disabling even for people who have undergone an ostomy reversal. Because remember, too, you're excreting past radiated tissue, so it's also quite, quite painful, as well as uh, unduly compromising as far as your day-to-day -day, uh, function. So low anterior resection is only now recently coming into research focus, and the reason for that is because uh, preoperative radiation for the pelvis is really something of the past 10 years, past 5 years, and so just now doctors are beginning to realize just how compromising LARS is and also how common it is. LARS affects 80% of rectal cancer patients who undergo ostomy reversals, 80%. So most of us will experience this kind of compromise after our ostomies are reversed. And many people are thinking, gee, I'll my ostomy reversed, it'll be great, I'll go back to work, everything will be fine. And when they encounter LARS, they're like, oh no, this is so hard. This isn't how I expected to live. Maybe I'm gonna have to get my ostomy put back because I can't live this way. But the news uh, for you is that your brain will figure it out. It will figure it out. There will be communication eventually between your, uh, your nerves as they regrow, your receptors, and your brain. And eventually your brain will figure out how to use your new internal architecture the way it is. And uh, your condition, your large condition, will improve. It takes about six months to as long as two years for the brain and the body to do that. But what I, uh, I often encounter people who are quite upset by LARS, they're also distressed by the fact that healthcare providers like family doctors know very little about it. So to learn more about it, I encourage you to go to the MD Anderson website. They have a great handout on how to cope. Cancer Care Nova Scotia has an excellent handout from their website uh, that helps people cope. LARS is uh, real. It's, uh, it's a condition that affects people for some time after, after their reversal. I often had a period where they're no longer followed by an ET nurse or a surgeon. So people feel very alone, but you're not alone. LARS is increasingly understood and they're increasingly there's information to help you cope.